Hey guys, so um, um, you remember that video that those actually two videos that I made about a very uh, disturbing video. My English wasn't even good. I was so you know so shocked that I couldn't even you know speak proper English um, so they have been trying uh, for me to take down the video or at least remove the thumbnail which is basically the single thing that I used and as per fair use was um, is acceptable use because I'm commenting and reviewing their well trying to uh, um, comment and criticize their work um, so they have basically sent me a kind of cease and desist uh, uh, email they are threatening me that they are going to report it to YouTube for copyright infringement I already contacted YouTube and apparently everything is good uh, the, um, you know they send me an email that my problem has been solved so I'm assuming there is nothing wrong with me having using their image as a thumbnail Fair law um, allows for the use of images, you know, uh, log logos, um, uh, movie posters. In this case, I googled and um, for um, the frame, you know, that of the first frame of uh, of the movie. There's another one which is basically their poster. But it's so disturbing that I rather use the one with the two guys on the table uh, because the the other one is the guy doing this. This is so disturbing that I didn't want to have it as a thumbnail. So I uh, googled for the image that is in in the front of their video, and that's what I'm using. I'm not even using snippets of their video or short clips which is perfectly acceptable when you are um, commenting on a video and they're trying to take down my uh, video and they haven't tried to take down positive reviews of their video so the, the issue is not that I'm using a, a thumbnail uh, of their video because it's a rel relatively obscure video, and if anything, I'm bringing them views. Um, but it's a relatively obscure video, and you know, to identify it, I used that image. And um, I've read uh, quite a lot on fair use, um, uh, and I am well aware of how it works. There are some gray areas. But overall, um, my use of this image is um, does um, uh, fall within the critic and commentary guidelines. So um, I feel that I'm being bullied to take down the video or remove the poster which is basically um, a way of them uh, trying to distance themselves from the critique because you know there is so much uh, uh, on the internet you know that uh, if you research norm it's not the first uh, result you have to really um, be searching for it and digging up the internet for it in order to find it so if i didn't include that thumbnail um the critique will be a bit more obscure um again i'm not using uh, clips or anything i'm just using that thumbnail so that people know what i'm talking about 
and that does fall under fair use laws. I am not taking down the video and I am going to fight um, for my right to use the thumbnail. Uh, according to the law, it is fair use and uh, um, you know, uh, I also tweeted to feminists and stuff uh, about this video because it's extremely disrespectful. And um, uh, if uh, they keep on trying to bully me and force uh, me to take down my videos, or uh, the thumbnail, I will be taking some action and I'm really, really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm stubborn and I am very resilient and, um, I don't know, I could, um, you know, if this blows up in feminist websites, I'm sure that they would have feminists all over them trying to take down this video and exposing them for what they are. They are chauvinistic, they are sexist, you know, misogynistic and uh, whatever. I, I have my right to critique and expose what I feel is a vile um, depiction of uh, women, you know? If you are vegan for whatever reasons, ethics, health, whatever, it's your problem. Now, comparing uh, rape to anything else is so vile that, and it is so out of line, that I am going to contest it and fight against it. You know, lately we have the glamorizing, um, you know, rape and child molestation. You, ha you have Salon publishing um, articles that promote um, pedophilia. And <laughs> there's a fine line between um humor between uh critique and critique i mean uh social um what they're doing comparing veganism to rape and uh promoting rape that video is so ambiguous and so disgusting that i think they're it's like <laughs> When you see Gary Urofsky, you know, I hate what is, the comparison and what he says, but he, he still is, he's on the top of the line, you know, and um, this movie has crossed the line and has gone to the, you know, it's over the top and it's it's too offensive and uh, I'm not backing down I am uh, fighting for my right to make a negative review of the movie the, the film the short film you know if you liked it you're it's your right to like it but you know everything um for everything there are negative reviews you know i could just make this video and then people start making a contraposing video and use my face or i'm not editing or making uh thumbnails um or anything for the videos at this point but if i made those it would be completely fair for them to use those um, so that, you know, there's something identifying what they're talking about. Um, people would associate that image with the um, topic of the video and it would be fair use because they are basically, they would, actually they are not, 
because no one is making videos about me but they would basically be discussing the topics of this video and as such it would be fair for them to use an, an image or even snippets of this video to contrapose or disagree with my points. Um, I didn't do uh, most of this. I didn't even use short, short clips of uh, that short film. Um, and again, I could, but I decided against it because uh, it's so vile that I don't want to include any of it in my vlog or whatever because it's really repulsive but still i i think that when you're talking about something uh you need some support and you need to show what you're talking about and hence me using that small thumbnail and um you can research fair use and you will see that uh, even uh, trademarked and copyrighted logos are usable um, uh, under fair use laws and um, um, movie posters or uh, small, small uh, movie clip or clips are um, acceptable under fair use laws as long as you know it's short it's not you know um, you're not copying the entire movie or the entire film you're just um, taking the amount that you need uh, to make your review your critique or whatever you're um, making a, as a derived product or even not a derived product just a, a critique of that um, product you are allowed to take short clips you are allowed to use their image their logos <sighs> as long as you are not trying to impersonate them um, and i think that much is clear in both my videos i'm not trying to impersonate them and so yeah that's basically it you know even if you get a cease and a cease let the cease letter from anyone you are taking clips or uh, images from i think you should first thing you should do is contact youtube um and expose your situation and uh, also show that, explain that, um, what you're doing. And uh, in my case, I was just using, I'm, I'm still just using uh, that short frame, that, that uh, the first image, you know, that is very, I think, iconic in terms of the movie. They are at the table debating, and then you have the logo, of uh, the the movie and that's the only thing that I used the movie I don't think the movie the short film um, that's the only thing that I used and again I have to say loud and clear this is fair use so um, I emailed YouTube exposing the situation i got um uh, an instant reply that you know telling me that the the situation was being handled and that uh you know the the, the automatic uh, response uh, to people sending uh, uh emails um and uh, early this morning i got an email saying that my situation has been solved and that uh you know it shouldn't be a problem and um uh now i got uh, another email from vidara films uh telling me that um basically another threat saying that i should remove uh the thumbnails or either or they would uh 
again make a false copyright claim because if you understand fair use uh, you understand that the use of that image is uh, legal under what I was doing uh, so um, again if they do a copyright claim it's um, again um, it, it's a false copyright claim because I I know my fair use laws and um, the particular uh, the use I made of that image is um, falls within copyright laws and fair use laws so I'm confident that uh, nothing's going to happen from this, but it's unpleasant. Um, so I got a uh, email saying that I have 24 hours to take their thumbnails and uh, either that or they will um, send me copyright strikes on YouTube which is nasty because I know that when you have copyright strikes you have a limited use of YouTube and it's a, a cowardly move of them and um, I hope it doesn't go uh, uh, you know that far um, but again um, I will reach out to YouTube to solve it and uh, what I say is please don't uh, be uh, scared when people do this to you uh, people don't like negative reviews and the only reason they are doing this is because uh, they are get probably getting uh, are afraid that uh, other people that are getting the same negative vibe from their um, short film, if you can call it that, uh, will, uh, you know, stumble upon my videos and critique and uh, then uh, avoid their video or, you know, they're afraid of the negative repercussions of a critique, but again, their topical their, their topic is so vile that even without me making a negative review of their video I'm certain then that, that they will get negative uh, views and impact if anything I'm actually spreading their video a little more and again I've been to their comment section again and it's disturbing how much people agree with this and it's so it's like glamorizing rape is not a good thing and this I think it's um, downplaying the impact of rape uh, and ridicularizing re ridiculing uh, women who've been raped and it's such a bad thing and uh, I don't know um, so this was just my update I am I am being threatened that I need to take it down but uh, I already reached out to YouTube um, and uh, from the the answer that I got to uh, the copyright support uh, email i'm not i don't think i'm doing anything wrong um i would get i i would have gotten uh you know um so, you know there wasn't any negative uh you know you need to take out the thumbnail from youtube tube team so uh from my reading of the email that i got from youtube um, there is nothing illegal about my two videos so I'm keeping them up and I'm fighting to keep them up because I think it's important um, that uh, there are you know that people make uh, con um, uh, videos that 
you know, are genuine and uh, don't feel threatened by big bullies that, you know, don't like uh, negative reviews of their power and, um, you know, they have a, a somewhat power, powerful uh, organization behind them, lawyer teams and stuff like that which a small content creator doesn't have but I think that we shouldn't uh, be uh, intimidated by this if we are following and that's what it what's important you need before you make content to read fair use laws and copyright laws and be knowledgeable with uh, those and I think that they do, they do know that they're just trying to intimidate me because they probably think that I'm not aware of them. Um, but I am aware of copyright laws and fair use laws, and I think this is their attempt at intimidating me. If they really had a sound uh, claim to back up, they would have immediately um, sent a copyright strike but they are well aware that uh, fair use allows for the use of that image in particular they were just trying to intimidate me so that I would feel pressure to remove it and I don't feel pressured uh, my feedback from YouTube also shows that the use of that image falls under fair use and as such i'm keeping the video up and if anything sh sh uh, if anything happens um you know i am social media savvy and i know what i can do uh so um I am all for free speech, you know. Um, there are certain topics that, you know, I don't agree with. And, uh, but, you know, this is disturbing and I'm not going to be shut, um, you know, because they don't want my content out there and they want, don't want their image associated with uh, negative reviews. But, you know, they're putting out negative content. They need to learn to accept um, the repercussions for what they're putting out. So, again, now that I'm... Um, being subject to this, uh, you know, see, cease and desist kind of email, I'm pretty sure that they're deleting their comment section and that the negative comments that they're getting, they're deleting them. So, yeah. Uh, bye, that's it for now. I don't know if I'll be able to upload it because I'm not sure whether uh, YouTube made um, anything so that if I received copyright strikes, those would be invalidated because, you know, I, I did warn them that this situation go, was going on and that I was, um, that I strictly followed fair use guidelines uh, but I don't know, uh, I hope that they did something that would prevent me from getting copyright strikes, but I'm unaware of it and I really hope that this uh, messy situation, you know, gets solved. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, I will keep you updated. Um, so that's it. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not reading my email or something, but 
I'm using my webcam and if I start reading stuff, I change the webcam window. Um, this stops recording, so I am not able to read from the email. But that's it. Uh, so far, that's what I got. I have 24 hours to take down their thumbnails before they do something. I don't intend to do this. This is fair use, and I'm fairly sure that they know what fair use is, and hence they not making any copyright claims. Um, they're trying to scare me off, but I'm not scared. I, well, I am, uh, you know, computer savvy and I know my laws. Um, so yes, bye. Um, tell me what you think about this. And if you like uh, my content, please do subscribe and uh, click on the little bell if you want to be notified of other videos. I'm trying to be more consistent at this at the time. I I'm I don't have a camera. Well, I have one, but um, the, it needs uh, an MS Pro Duo uh, memory card, and I have a hard time finding them or adapters. So. For now, I will use the YouTube videos or cell phone video videos. Um, so that's where we we are going to be at. And so, bye. I really hope that I was less, uh, you know, all over the place. I'm not very good with talking. Uh, so that's it. And bye.